guys welcome back to my channel so my name is Elena first of all and um, this is a very exciting video for me I'm doing another collab which I'm going to link down below the channels that I did this collab with so this is in black and white so that you can't see the look that I came up with because it's supposed to be a surprise um, but I did a palette bingo with the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. I think that I'm in love with this palette. I really do like it. As much as I like the first one, I really do like it. The shades are really pigmented. They blend out really well. And <laughs> the colors that I got are like, I never would have paired them together if I didn't do this palette bingo. So I'm really thankful. Um, for this collab and this palette bingo idea which i'm going to start um incorporating on my channel a lot more often um because it was really fun because it's like oh my gosh how the hell am i going to make these work i got more mattes than i did shimmers um which i guess for some people would be like a win because it's harder to work with shimmers than it is mattes but depending on the mattes that you get your look can turn out muddy so it's a little hard um it's really fun and challenging so um i definitely recommend that you you try a palette bingo because of how challenging it is it can make you step out of your comfort zone i definitely did with this video and without further ado let's get into this video because i'm sure you're dying to see how my look came out <laughs> all right so i look a little crazy but that's because my eyes are primed with my juvia's place concealer number 19 and i got shadow shields on so we have all of our beautiful gorgeous shades here i did already do a look which you can see that i'll card it above so i'm just going to get my random number generator so we have 35 shades i don't know if you can see that but we're putting 35 in the max and we're going to pick five shades first one we got is eight which i'm going to count um them across and then the next one so one two three four following and then that way so we have no joke as our first one so i'm going to swatch that so i don't forget so no joke is our first one. So let's pick our next number. The next one is 16. 16 is G Money. That's the shade right here. So that's G Money. These shades are crazy pigmented. The next number was 18. So 18 is My Man. So we got My Man there. Shades look really pretty swatched together on my hand, so I'm hoping to get a shimmer because we got all mattes so far. The next number is 31. So 31 is this one right here, which is Good Place. It's a purple shimmer. It looks really pretty. Purple shimmer. There is swatch right there. All right, and then last but not least, we have nine, which is Talia, um, which I already used. Um, I already used Talia in my first video, so I already know it's a really good shade, but I'll swatch it for you. So there's Talia there. All right, so these are the shades we have to work with, so let's just get with all right so i went ahead and zoomed you guys all in so that you can see um okay so let's just get started so i'm gonna go ahead and take my man which is this shade right here i'm gonna take my man and i'm gonna put that all over my lid like everywhere <laughs> I'm going to start incorporating palette bingos on my channel um, because I really love this idea of the palette bingos. It does help you get out of your comfort zone, um, which I had some friends tell me in like a group chat because um, I made a whole bunch of amazing friends with the first collab that I did with the Bloodless palette, which if any of you guys are watching, I love all of you guys and I appreciate you all so much. So they told me that this is a good way of getting out of your comfort zone and I definitely see that now um, because I never would have paired any of these colors together. And now we're gonna go into the next shade. So I'm taking this JH40 and I'm going to dip into G Money, which is this shade right here. 
and I'm gonna use G Money to like add some depth into this look. All right, so now that that is all blended out, now we are going to dip into No Joke, which is this yellow shade. Okay, so off camera, I cut my crease and then I took G Money and I added it right here. So what I'm gonna do is now on camera, since I did all that off camera and I was just like, maybe you guys would wanna see me clean up. Um, I'm gonna take the JH34 and I'm gonna dip into my man again. That was that orange shade we used in the beginning. And I'm just gonna add it back up here and blend it out. and just blend everything together. All right, now that that is all blended out, we can go back to our yellow shade, which was no joke. And I'm using a Morphe M443 with that shade packed on there. So now we have two shades left to use. We have to use the purple shade and we have to use Talia. So I was thinking of using, um, Good Place was the purple shade. So I was thinking of using Good Place to tight line and Talia as inner corner highlight. I'm gonna use this JH38. It's this little fluffy pencil brush that came in her collection. It's just dirty from my first look. And I am gonna spritz it with my Morphe Continuous Sitting Mist. All right, so now we're gonna do the tight line and we're going to use Good Place right here to tight line. I know it's a shimmer and you know, most of the time we don't use shimmers as tight lines and stuff, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna use this JH39 brush to tight line. Okay, everybody, so here's the final look. Off camera, I went ahead and I did my eyeliner, my lip, and my mascara. So I do think that it all came together in the end which i am so thankful for i do need to work on my blending obviously um it looks like i got punched but that's just because there was a lot of fallout um from the orange shade which off the top of my head i can't remember what it was called i think it was my man um and it, it doesn't look bad um these colors do look really nice paired together honestly i would have never um done this on my own <laughs> i would have never even thought to pair these colors together so I do really love this palette bingo thing, so I'm gonna start doing it a lot more on my channel. Let me know down below what you guys think about this look, what you think about the colors that are more paired together. And again, I wanna thank you guys so much for letting me join in on this collab. I really do appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate all of you, and I will see you next time with another one. Bye.